Welcome to part 7 of the audio visualization tutorial in Unity by PearPlay. In the previous part we created ranged usable values to apply the incoming audio spectrum to our game. In this part we will get the average amplitude of all bands, so we have another variable to work with. So let's head over to our audio peer class. Inside this class we will add another function and we'll call this get amplitude. And of course also call it inside the update, get the amplitude. And now what we want to do is so we want to add all the different frequencies, 8 in total, to add together into one new variable called the amplitude. So let's create a new variable, public static float, call this amplitude. And we might also want the amplitude buffer, so let's also make a amplitude buffer. Now as well as we did for the frequency band highest, we also want to know what the highest amplitude will be in a song. So let's also create a private float for that and we'll call this the amplitude highest. Now we want to add all the different frequency bands together into one variable called the amplitude. Now we could do this and say amplitude equals audio band 0 plus audio band 1 and so on plus plus plus. But now we only have eight different uh, bands, but if we have like 64 bands or 512 bands, this would be a long, long process. So there's a better way to do this. And for that we are going to create first a temporary uh, float and we'll add in a for loop every one of these bands and then we'll apply the um, temporary float to the amplitude. So let's create a temporary float and we'll call this current amplitude and we'll also make a current amplitude buffer. Let's start off with a for loop. Now inside the for loop we can easily apply all the different audio bands to the amplitude. So we'll say that the current amplitude plus is the audio band and also the current amplitude buffer plus is the audio band buffer. Now the current amplitude is the sum of all the audio bands together. And now that that's done we can do a check if the current amplitude is higher than the amplitude highest. So if the current amplitude is higher than the amplitude highest. Now the amplitude highest is equal to the current amplitude. Now we want our amplitude and our amplitude buffer value to be set. So, and it's also going to be a number between 0 and 1. So we'll set here that the amplitude is equal to our current amplitude divided by our amplitude highest. And also for the amplitude buffer is equal to our current amplitude buffer divided by our amplitude highest. And that's all there is to get the average amplitude into one value. So let's save the script and head over to Unity. So I've already set up a scene to make use of the amplitude and to show you an example. Now here we have a sphere and the sphere has a script skill on amplitude. If we look at that script then you can see here that I'm using the audio peer class and I get the amplitude or the amplitude buffer. Uh, and I set the max scale of that sphere 
to the amplitude of all the different bands together. Now onto the sphere there's also some child objects that ha are the cubes that are actually working on the individual bands. So the result here would be that on the total of amplitude the balls will grow and shrink and the individual uh, parametric cubes will react to the individual bands. Now let's have a look at the results and start of the scene. Thank you for watching this tutorial part. If you'd like me to continue making tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.